way. You could also use your hand, but I I don't like touching stuff. Let's prepare the dough for the Korean pancakes. The secret to make it taste good is to use vegetable stock. I don't get how people can't like mushrooms, like, grow up. Just a little more, maybe one more. Nice, not washed. It's so beautiful. I want to eat it. This is really sweet, but not refreshing. You can fry the veggies before you even add in the dough. Make sure you don't have any dates when you make this dish. So the next dish will be bibimguksu. We have oil, you can also use sesame oil, white vinegar, soy sauce, garlic, gochujang, gochugaru, and sesame seeds. Soy sauce. By the way, I never measure. I don't know, I've never been that kind of person. Vinegar. Let's prepare the scallions. I'm not really into authentic, traditional cooking, but more like freestyling. Instead of using a cucumber like you would traditionally, I'm going to use a carrot. a strong smell. Cute. The next dish will be my emergency food. I ate it the last couple of weeks when I didn't have any food. Put them in a nice bowl. You go. Bye-bye. You go. Sorry, my knife skills are really shitty. Just like my cooking skills. But I have a little bit of a problem with my hand lately. My hand got swollen up. I can't use my hand that properly. I haven't even fully started, but I feel like I need a matcha break. It's either gonna be chai latte or matcha latte. 
Okay, chai. Okay, let's take a break from cooking. Also wanted to mention my hand again. So for a comparison, like look at my middle finger. I hope you can see the difference. Time to go to the doctors. So the last couple of times I made it without any vegetables, so without the mushrooms, I didn't have scallions either. I just made the sauce. By the way, I went to the doctor today and she took my blood. She gave me some medication and see if it works. She told me that it's inflamed. Let's get started. So we're gonna make some fried rice cakes, street food style. These are the rice cakes I'm gonna use. Honestly, not sure if they're not expired because they've been in my fridge for... Oh, okay, yeah, they are. Okay, so we're left with the small ones. They're actually really tiny, but size doesn't matter, at least in this case. I cooked them for like five minutes. Now we can stack them up. Oh, this turned out so crooked and a little ugly too. Not bad. Not too good either. So I'm gonna use some ketchup. Don't judge. Okay, we have some bok choy here. Just gonna cut off the end. Okay, I'm gonna add some soybean paste. You know what, at this point, I don't think you can really blanch pak choy. Some sesame oil, garlic, fan of sesame oil. It smells and tastes really smoky. So if you're into that, use sesame oil. Garlic is pretty strong. Okay, let's try this. This tastes like McDonald's because of the ketchup. Too much sauce, but other than that, perfect. I introduced you to that in my last video. <sighs> I described it as a jam, so it is basically a jam and you just mix it in with water. Mm. It 
it is time for something else. We're gonna make soba noodles and it's gonna be really cool, I think. Never tried it before, like always, we're gonna test it. I'm also gonna make the Korean sweet potatoes. I'm gonna put them in the oven and then we can start with the soba noodles. So this is what the soba noodles look like if you haven't seen them before. And also important for this dish is the sauce, um, oh, what was the name? Tsuyu? Tsuyu sauce, I don't know if I pronounced it correctly. It looks like this can also have a different packaging. Your noodles. <laughs> wow. This looks kind of dry. Look at all the juice. Ew. You're like a regular potato but sweet. Oh. It smells a lot like my skincare products. Mm, it smells like Play-Doh, like preschool. more of the sauce because I don't think it's enough and some salt and also some ketchup mm. not bad not bad this I could eat this for the rest of my life okay so let me try to put it this way so the Korean sweet potatoes they're really comforting they give me the sense, the feeling of comfort and security. It reminds me of pure love, like a person that gives you a lot of warmth and security and comfort. And then the oyster mushrooms, they just, they hit you so hard, like a crush, you know? When you have a crush, you see that person for the first time and it just hits you. No matter how much you're telling yourself that they're not right for you, they just hit you so hard. Let's try the drink. <laughs> this is nice. I like the texture and the taste is also good. It, yeah, it tastes like grapes. It's a weird feeling. It's like a happy feeling when one of these ghost thingies slides into your mouth. I just want to hug the sweet potato. Okay, what the hell? I just played this video back. And what is going on with my neck? Why does it look so weird when I talk? I don't know. I played the video back and my neck looked really weird. <sighs> Sometimes I notice things that I didn't notice before, especially when I film the videos and then I get super insecure. Hey guys, that was it for this video today and I really hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I usually never ask for one, but it really helps me to create these videos. It can be a lot of work, so I hope I'm gonna see you in the next video. I have a bunch of these videos, so just check them out. Bye!